Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect to a remote server so you can uh, manage your virtual machines remotely and uh, we're going to be doing that with Virtual Machine Manager so uh, after this once we get it set up we'll be able to say connect to yeah, my machines 192.168.0.105 uh, and from this interface I'll be able to go and manage the virtual machines, create new virtual machines and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, we'll get started if we run into any issues We'll talk about it and we'll fix it. So uh, we'll get started right now. Take a look. These are the connections that I have here. Localhost, LXC, containers, QEMU is the virtualization. Okay. So right there, that's just opened. What we're going to do is we're going to add a connection. That's how we do it. And we're going to say connect to remote host and host name. If you have your uh, DNS stuff, you can set up. You can use the uh, you know the host name or just the IP, like what I'm going to do and auto connect I'm not going to but uh, you can SSH keep that in mind that's how we're going to connect to it okay virtual machine manager connection failure unable to connect to libvirt why okay so a couple things SSH connection refused verify that libvirt D is running okay so vir libvirt D that's a daemon that you're going to be using to uh, manage your virtualization machines and that's really like the what you know the what you're going to use for your virtualization uh, KVM solution here so uh, let's do that. Let's just double check and see vert, uh, libvirt D first. So both of my machines that I'm doing this on, my uh, client on what what you're looking at right now on the server, uh, they both are running Fedora 20 or 21. Uh, this one's 21, the other one's 20. But let's just check. So, and because of that, we're doing system D. So system CTL, and we're going to say status libvirt D. Okay. Take a look. It's active. It's running. It should be running by default uh, when you go and install your virtualization packages. It should be on by default. So uh, it is here, and that's good. We want to see that. Now, what you're going to have to do is uh, you got to check SSHD. So system CTL. Remember, this is stuff that you're going to do on your server machine. Uh, now you might ask, okay, well, why can't you just SSH into the server and uh, show us that way? I'll show you right now. Hey, not working. That's why. So, uh, just keep in mind these things that I'm doing here. You got to do these on your server machine, the one that you're going to connect to and manage those virtual machines. All right. I'm. You're looking. We're on the client right now. Think of it that way. So, uh, on the server, what you would have to do is uh, system CTL, and uh, it's going to be status SSHD. Okay. It's active here, but what you're going to see in this case is I'm just gonna stop and I'll show you exactly what you're gonna see okay you're gonna see this you're gonna see uh, where are we at here okay that's what you're gonna see loaded but inactive that's the whole reason your SSH daemon is not running that's why you can't even accept connections with uh, SSH like that okay so we're gonna change that two commands that you need to do and this remember these are gonna be on the remote the server machine I'm going to go system ctl start sshd and then system ctl start or enable sshd okay give me a second i'll do that on the other guy and uh, i'll get back to you in a second okay so those commands are done on the other machine and let's just do real quick make sure and there you go. Uh, SSH is working. We're just going to say yes and do all that. Okay. All right. So now you see how the. Uh, let's just do it that way. And you can see 192.168.0.105. There we go. Right there. So uh, now we are on the server. Okay. So now we can go system CTL status. SSHD. Okay, so loaded, active. That's what you want. All right. So enabled. This is going to be persistent. So I'm just going to exit out of this. But like I said, the two commands that you want: system ctl enable SSHD and system ctl start SSHD. These are what you do on your server to uh, get it up and running. And uh, after that, 
It says, would you still like to remember this connection? Remember, the whole problem was that SSHD wasn't running. So we're just going to say yes. Let's try to connect to it this time. And it's working. Okay, so we're going to go and connect to it there. I already got one running. And uh, let's go and say, okay, well, let's start a new virtual machine. And you see there, it shows up in your connections right there. Okay, so uh, from this point on, you can go and uh, create virtual machines. You can manage your virtual machines from uh, this remote location where I'm at now. So uh, pretty good working with headless servers, and uh, you do some pretty uh, pretty cool stuff with this. So uh, keep in mind, SSHD has to be running on your server machine. All right, and uh, you get that set up, and you should be good to go. Uh, that's all I had for this video, so stay tuned for future videos.